Hello everybody, this is Zigzag Zog coming to you from southwestern Pennsylvania. We're back to continue our playthrough of XCOM Enemy Within featuring the Long War mod. And we got a tough one ahead of us, Operation Driving Spark, an alien terror attack, Port Elizabeth, South Africa. And poor South Africa, we thought we had it under control a long time ago. Well, a long time ago we did, but uh, since the aliens started targeting it, it falling slowly and all of a sudden speedily into their hands. Uh, it's bright orange as far as terror. It's one more tick away from being fully red and us losing the country and uh, losing our continent bonus there in Africa. And so I don't know that there's much we're going to be able to do given the makeup of terror missions in Long War and how much panic they cause even with just a few civilian deaths. Um, it's very tough to save that many civilians, so uh, I shouldn't be so negative. Uh, I need a morale boost, and I'll tell you what y'all can do to help me with this morale boost going in here, and that is hit that like button, hit that dislike button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, and leave me a comment. All these things that help this little itty-bitty channel get noticed, I sure would appreciate it. Um, let's get in there. And that, let's let's hope my crystal ball is faulty, and that we're going to do better than <laughs> better than I think. But I have a feeling South Africa is in jeopardy. Central, this is Big Sky. Confirm signal uplink. Strike team is in position near the terror site, awaiting confirmation. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one has been given the green light. Your highest priority is to protect those civilians. Well, we are in a familiar starting location, a familiar corner. Um, I guess the uh, starting plan then is to get Sebastian run up, get Sebastian into concealment. Start taking a look. Uh, we got five battle scanners in total. Uh, we'll see if we can use them to our advantage somehow. Let's... Uh, Get the first one way out here in the distance. And we got ourselves some chrysalids early on. And it calls into question, uh, who do I have ready to handle the chrysalids? Uh, the other thing I kind of like to do is, Tina, unfortunately, Christina, you can't why you get far enough, but I'm going to try you at this point. Let's see, can you get it through here? Well, not ideal, but not hideous at the same time. Let's see what we can see right here. Yeah, we're making a little noise crashing through the window to throw it. And what have we got? Let's see chrysalids, and we're seeing some floaters off in the distance right now. That's what we're seeing. Four chrysalids and four floaters. So I'm kind of thinking we gotta get we gotta get our team forward to do us any good is what I'm thinking. Um, the question is, if I come to this corner, who can see me? Well, the van protects us from the chrysalids. How far back are the floaters? That's the question. They seem to be distant enough where I can take this corner with Margaret Thatcher. Yes, sir. And they indeed are, which means I'm going to run everybody the heck forward um, as far as we can get. Now, if the chrysalids run towards us, it's a. Uh, I, mean, I guess it's kind of an angle if this is the way they move that we'd be able to we, we will be unsteadied but if I stay farther back we really will be out of range even if we steady so I'm thinking that's what we got to do we're just gonna have to bum rush everybody forward 
uh, to be ready for the activations coming up. Until such time as we activate, We kind of got this full cover of this truck to keep us safe, it seems. The only point is this doesn't quite block the truck. Pretty much what you're seeing me doing, I'm trying to make, I just want to get everybody as far forward as they can get without activating these guys because we're going to need these angles and right now we don't have any angles that we need. Arden, I'm gonna get you here to see you may have some angles to shoot in that direction too. I noticed earlier there is that a lot of times there's a pole or something you can get up to the roof on, but no such luck on this particular version of the map for the terror mission. All right, let's see how they move. See if our battle scanners keep track. Oh, and of course we got mutons inside, so we got to be aware of that as we're moving out. Floaters may see us now. No? Open fire. Chrysalids may see us now. Yes. And they are scattering to the wind. They're going after civvies. And I gotta see if I can do some damage to these guys without... Do you have anybody in sight and who is it? 85% Arden? Uh, we're going for the precision shot on the first chrysalid. We've already lost a civilian off in the cloud of who knows what's where. And if I push any farther forward almost, I risk activating. Those floaters. I can see the chrysalid from there, but not from what the indicators seem to tell me. Not the floaters. Let's give it a go. On my way. Open fire. Ah, we saw the floaters. You lied. There one, one of them must have had a green circle around them that I didn't notice. Now we got lots of options, but right now, my biggest concern is on the chrysalids. 90% good percent. Ooh, a kill shot on that. I wasn't expecting that. We got a nice crit. Where else do we have chrysalids? Because there's still two more out there. Four floaters, two chrysalids. Where, oh where? Because we only see three. Where, oh where are the chrysalids? Where, oh where have they gone? And if I run out to get farther up to get view of these chrysalids, I activate some mutons on top of it all. So I think about the best I can hope for is moving up to this corner. And that's not good distance for an ally cannon, but that's the best I can do. Ooh, what's this? We got him flanked, but it's not a great shot. I got a better, better opportunity over here with this guy on the gas tank. And even that's not great. Uh, maybe we can get some help out on this particular one. Sebastian, can you get to a point or an angle that's not exposing you to floaters? Well, actually, we can get you here because we don't. I was worried about moving to this corner. In fact, no, I can't take that nice, perfect, ideal corner because there's a civilian there. Um, but we'll try this spot. And maybe you can supply some hollow targeting from there. Gotcha. 
Uh, there's there's two floaters right next to each other. Now, if anybody has lent themselves to being... Well, maybe I should get hollow targeting on the flying floater just because he's going to be harder to hit than anybody else. So we'll think about that as I bring some others forward to try and get some shots. Um... Unfortunately, Trevor, I think I'm going to have to get you maybe here. But you really don't see much other than, other than that floater up in the air. But if I bring you much different than... Uh, still just get to see the floater in the air. Do I have anybody to get these guys around the gas tank? That's what I want to know. And if I bring you over here, is that able? It doesn't appear that we would see the mutons from here. But it also doesn't appear that we would see these guys because this post is in the way. There's not a lot of great cover positions to get the shots that I desire. So what we're going to do... suffer. <laughs> um, Kristen, how far can you get? Maybe you're the one. Oh, you can't reach in through there either. If I get you behind a truck in this spot, there's not a lot of help. Not a lot of help. So uh, we're going to have to take the cover we have available. Tina, we can always throw a grenade. Unfortunately, it takes out a civilian. Dang it. Moving to position. Is it worth it to sacrifice one civilian, or is that one civilian that we sacrifice by throwing and you can't even reach it over there because the truck ruins your arc to get it over there. And if the only way to explode it is to kill two civilians and potentially harm this truck, so. Really, that flying floater is the only one we really have a good chance to get. Moving out. We're gonna bring you over here to steady, more than likely. Although it's gonna be bringing you over here to uh, shoot against. Now, you can't see anything from there, I do not believe. don't have enough cover to get some of y'all too. Okay. This corner is just not working out for me. But we're going to put you on overwatch in case somebody somehow moves through this area that you might have vision of. That's about all you can provide for me. Uh, we're going to try, Sebastian. We're going to try with you. If I can find out where you went to, right here. We're going to expose you. Giving up hollow targeting right here. It's a crit, but it did not kill him. The good news is, we should have a chance... Try the 43% over here. Cross our fingers and see if this is going to be our lucky day or if this mission is going south from this point. <laughs> it is our lucky day. That's one less civilian the floaters are going to shoot. Um, we're going to try up here 61% to finish this guy off. That is not good. Now we're going to try 63% volume of fire shot to finish him off. And this time we did. And I think you are the last one, T-Bone. And I think we uh, need a good steady at this point. Oh, what's coming down the ray? 
makes me think that off in the cloud we're going to lose some more civilians that are, that are out of sight. Like this one right here is now going to... Oh, we got mutons active now. Or not. No, they did not activate quite yet. Or so it would seem. And I'm hearing chrysalids still roaming around. And now there must be a civilian around the corner they're going after. What are they running away? What are they? There must be a bunch of civilians around the corner. What is this? Well, there goes one. And what is this muton randomly doing out here? Well, there's a soon-to-be zombie. Another soon-to-be zombie. Well, if ever I uh, needed a rocket, they can't shoot because of that. Oh, wait, what's this? What's this? I think this is worth it. I think they killed the two civilians that were around the fire pump, so I think this is worth it right here to make one heck of a big loud explosion and do some hurt on these guys. And that activates these guys now. So what have we got left over there? There was a muton, but there's three inside. So the muton died. There's still two chrysalids out there. So there could be that other chrysalid here that's just out of sight and we just can't see them. Um, at this point, I think it's time to start getting you a little more active here, Fred. Um, question is, what's the best way to do it? We got running you indoors against some mutons or something else. And if I, Sebastian, try to move you over here to rescue these civvies, will they move out of your way so you can take this corner position against the coming muton move? I don't know. Because you don't have sight of anybody now, so that seems to think that we can get you concealed by moving here. I'm going to take that risk. Let's see what kind of vision we can get. There's that other chrysalid. Arden, do you have a line of sight anywhere? You're back over here somewhere. Can you see anybody? Got a nice 85% on that chrysalid. Boom, it's gone. to get this one but who knows what we activate in the background now we don't have sight of the mutants inside at the moment is there something I'm guessing they're back and we don't know exactly where they are somewhere back in here and there's a lot of civvies in there. Do we do it? Do we do it? Do blah, 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 blah. I can't even talk. Do we do a blind running gun in here to deal with some mutons? Problem is, I don't have much support to give you. Should we do that? Who do you see? 86. You can see that chrysalid over here. also see that floater way over here why did they run away I don't I don't get there must have been civilians over there and they didn't get them maybe they ran inside somehow this back door open oh this back wall is blown away so they could have easily as they came around the corner and then the civilians relocated inside somehow I don't know 
trying to figure out why they did what. That's not my job. My job is to kill some aliens. And let's see. We will start... The chrysalid. Nice clutch hit. You're now revealed, but it doesn't let us see these guys. And I don't have... Now, if I bring you... Now, but of course, then we have a, a, a flank potential quite easily. So you don't see the floater from there, but you can probably see inside uh, where maybe some mutons are. Let's go find out. Okay. We're safe. Now get out of here. There's those mutons. We got a nice 80% shot there. The other one, because of the because of the coffee server, it's full cover. Well, it must be one hefty coffee serving device. Um, however, Fred, how far can you get? Not far enough on a running gun. Uh, but your running gun is probably what I'm going to do just to have a chance on that muton. Oh, there's another muton. <laughs> Hello, my friend. Hello. I don't think you have enough to kill it, and I don't know what we're going to do to kill it now. Nope. Oh, look at that. One tick away from taking him down. Isn't it always the one tick? Now, if we bring you out here, that floater off in the distance freaks me out. Uh, but if I brought you there, would you be able to see a command for Fred? How's that for a thought? Kristen, you can't get out here where I need you. You can't reach where I need you. Tina. You can't reach where I need you. Nobody can reach where I need anybody. Let's see, if, is that close enough to see the floater? Not at all. So I think I gotta take the chance of being flanked by the floater just to see and hope that maybe I can get a command over to Fred. Let's see if he's, no. That's the only command I got. It's the only command I got. And it's the command I'm going to use. And that's what we got to do. 58% chance for a crit. And we got it. No two ways about it. We don't have we don't have a we don't have a chance over here. 55, we gotta go for the 80% to lower their numbers. Oh, wicked crit when we didn't need it, eh? Tina. All we can do is bring you up. Um, you're not close enough to do anything. A double move is pointless because it's only half cover against the mutons. Um, I'd rather have you on Overwatch in case something weird comes down, some floater comes over the top, or uh, who knows what would happen. And Fred, you're a tank for a reason. And Kristen, let's get you right here with the same thought in mind for Overwatch. Rescue a civilian. Who do you see? Ooh, we can see somebody. Well, at least you can help by suppressing him down. Let's 
see what he does against Fred. Oh, he moved. We are in luck. Fred, you're you for a reason. Oh. Suppression didn't help that civilian. I didn't even see one that close. Wow. We got more chrysalid. Oh, there's... There's the Overwatch I was worried about, but it didn't help us. Let's hope this is a double move or he's gonna have a shot. Or two, or three, or four. Oh no! He took a civilian. Took a civilian. Just what we don't need in South Africa. I guess it's good for our health, but that's about it. Uh, Fred. One less mutant in the world is up for order here. Side of coffee. And let's reload the ammo while we can. Then we got this guy up top. And you're the one that seems to have the best looking amount of ammo. So just in case though. Kristen. Aye, aye, Commander. Let's bring you behind cover. Rapid fire. I don't know if that's the way to do it. I like 70%, 0% crit. Don't you have any? Yeah, we're, we're going to try it. Yes. I think the heat ammo made Still a difference. Confirmed. Now... We got it. We got this backside clear. I think we need to start pushing forward. And no zombies picked up. So does that mean the corpses blew up with that rocket? Wouldn't that be nice? I swear we tried that once before to figure that out once before, and it did not work for us. Okay. Um, I'm gonna reload. Where possible, we're gonna get the rocket farther forward, also and steadied. As you know, this ain't over yet. I'm still hearing, I thought, chrysalids out there. Heading to that location. We gotta start moving forward and finding out where the rest of our uh, friends are located. And let me just double check. I'm assuming we killed everybody. Oh, there's one zombie out there, but I think there was a zombie back in the in the distance before that we didn't get. I'm gonna reload. We're definitely gonna get you reloaded too out here, Arden. I'm on it, Commander. Oh yeah. What have we got? I'm gonna overwatch. I'm gonna overwatch. And I'm gonna get Tina, I wanna try and get you far forward for grenade potentials and that civilian uh, needs to move I think he's gonna blow I'm afraid to stick my head around the corner right now so Tina let's run you this far next turn we're in position to throw some battle scanners and check some of the farther reaches what a way to lose a civilian As if the aliens aren't doing enough. We have to have the uh, nincompoop <laughs> that stands behind a burning car. Oh, man. Um, who is going to push forward for us first? Well, as we're pushing forward, we might as well go for civilians. Ruth, free the civilian. You're clear. Move out. We've already lost seven. I think that's too much to be of any good for us. Tina, we'll head you towards this civilian and get some vision in through the trucks. Okay. And nothing so far. That means it's time to get a rocket as close up as we can start getting it. If it means standing in the open too? Yeah, well it seems like right near us is an issue. Not an issue, so let's uh, study from here. On the move. I 
one of our battle scanners is going down this way. Um, let's see, it'll get see somewhere down this truck and around that truck, so we'll try it right here. So I'm starting to feel like this side's a little more secure. They're they're really far back there. Whatever we got left. So they're probably right in here or even farther back. Uh, how many civilians do we have in near us? We got one right here. How many more are over by us? One, two, three. Is there any more around nearby? So there's three of the seven are right near us. Oh, thanks for coming up here. I noticed you. So we're going to double move you up as far as you can go, Kristen. Morning. Get you back in the action. We're going to do the same with you, Fred. Oh, and we're going to definitely do the same with you, Arden. Let's do this. What do we got left? We'll do a reload here. We're green to go. Do an overwatch there and a reload, and just keeping all our ammo full for what's to come. Someone gonna walk into the battle scanner. Something is. Oh, the zombie. Is that a zombie? Hey, you hear anything? Now that last noise is disconcerting because that sounds like the low hum of a cyber disc. And I'm still hearing chrysalids out there. Yikes. Sebastian, where is the best spot to put you? I feel like we're all going to be split up if some are on this side and some are on the other side. But I want to start... Dang, that's not full cover. I want to start seeing farther down over here. So let's run you and dash you over here to... Get another good look down this side. Nothing. So I think pushing up on this side is going to be what potentially activates. Uh, Tina, I'm going to go for the rescue right here. On the move. Run for it. Get to the ship. As we start moving everybody else up. There's a really cheap half cover uh, we're gonna steady you right here T-Bone at least once we move everybody else just so we don't get some weird accidental activation and if they're gonna be more up the center I'm thinking I wanna I wanna get you maybe over here instead to have okay, better sure. angles Keep pushing forward. Got it covered. Stepping off. On the move. noise all over you. Yeah, definitely now a cyber disc and there is a chrysalid. And we are active with this chrysalid now. It's a horrible miss, Ruth. Come on now. And he, the way he ran off instead of running towards you once activated. Oh, that's probably a, a lone chrysalid from the zombie that I think was back there. That's probably what that one is. And then that little hint of something down here, I'm thinking a cyber disc is in here somewhere. And look, there's a civilian. We got to push forward and get sight in there. Because there we got civilians. 
And there's chrysalids. So much for being a lone chrysalid. Yikes! Well, I got a rocket right and ready for him. It just means I'm going to have to lose uh, Tina's uh, alien grenade that she would have been able to throw. Uh, let's just double check the rocket and see where it reaches and what it does. So, Tina, if you move just back here, you'll be okay. So let's do that first so we can fire a rocket. Heading there now. And if we're lucky, it explodes the cab and does additional damage on these guys. Launching. I got one. Now we got two out of the three. And then there's this lone one in the back who is significantly weaker than these guys. So I'm almost thinking that's the one that converted from the earlier zombie. Is there still a zombie out there even? No, there's two more. Gosh, they're just making... making chrysalids quicker than I can catch up to them and there's still a cyber disc on top of it all and we've already lost 10 holy smokes um well let's see if you can do the honors Ruth nice hit at 70% for 6 damage Fred I'm wondering you have run and gun available but I'm afraid if I push too far up, I'm thinking I, if I can get to this corner, get rid of this guy, get to the corner, since I was there before and didn't activate anything, uh, maybe you'll have a shot, even though it's a little bit more range than we prefer. Oh, Margaret Thatcher. Holy smokes, we got a zombie behind us. Did anybody notice this? Did anybody notice the zombie behind us? Uh, let's see, Arden... We also have you to take care of this. And that means that frees you up a little bit to take care of this. Nice crit. Now follow it up. Now we're down to one chrysalid, one zombie. And now is when I think and I'm gonna try popping the running gun. Going in for the kill. Running. It was safe before, it better still be safe. Okay, we have vision. Ah, wish it was a little higher than that. <sighs> yeah, like I said, I wish it was a little higher than that. two civilians out of the three remaining. I think another one's back. Oh, we got one behind us here somewhere. Oh, I'm not sure where, but we, we should have a civilian behind us somewhere. What's active right at the moment? A zombie and a chrysalid. site out here uh, I'm gonna bring you forward this turn so next time you might have more advantages we're gonna just stick you on overwatch uh, Sebastian Let's get you over here to peek down and get a better look over here. Ooh, we just saw a zombie. At least we know where the other zombie is. Let's do this. Heave a battle scanner over. See if there's anything down this row. Where, oh where, is the cyber disc all the way, oh, look at that, he's all the way in the back. Well, now we know where the cyber disc is. 
You gonna run towards us, Fred? Oh, we got Kristen. Oh, we don't have Kristen. <laughs> Damn it. Run closer to Fred. I'm fine if you do that. Oh, Fred, you did. Oh, but this is his second move, I think, right? So he can't hit us, right? Right? No. Well, apparently he was hurt enough to not kill us, is what it would seem. And Sebastian, you are now exposed. You are officially revealed. Fortunately, Fred, that was an armor hit. But I'm wondering, uh, is that acid on you too that we we saw penalty? N yeah, you are suffering from acid, so we got to get uh, a little medic action over there. In fact, we're gonna bring the medic here. So that Fred, we can bring you over here. Because we got plenty to can take care of the chrysalis. Yeah, it's still armor. We gotta get you healed up. Ruth, let's do it. Don't move, you'll be fine. In fact, Ruth, let's have you do it all, baby. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Tina, can we have you move forward a little bit? Moving out. I'm going to put you on overwatch. I definitely want to get my rocket closer. Let's see if the Chris, if the cyber disc comes around, it's going to be pretty far back. And if I'm not steadied, that's not a guarantee. But the shredder has pretty big radius. We're going to take a chance with an unsteadied rocketeer that, that that rocket will be good for us. We're going to just reload here. We are going to uh, do a little retreat <laughs> on the zombie. Well, I don't. I just don't think you can kill it. That's the problem. Yes, you definitely can't kill it. So if we do a little strategic retreat, but I don't want to take you so far back that you're out of the fray if that yeah, cyber disc should there. appear. So let's go here, see if you can do some nice damage on this guy. Slow him down. Nice crit. He shouldn't have big range of movement anymore. One of the benefits of red fog. Now, if that cyber disc is coming around the corner over here, I'm thinking I'm going to reload you. Let's do this. And I want to get you, Kristen, in a better spot also to help us out. If I do here and he moves out far enough, they sometimes will take a shot. I don't want that to happen. Do I just dash you just to have you in a better spot? Is that what I need to do? Or do I just move you close enough to be useful? Moving Let's out. try the close enough to be useful. And in case we need suppression Ready coming up, we're going to reload you. And I definitely want to get you reloaded too, but I sure would like to get you a little farther up. It should be far enough back, right? Even if you're in the open. Now we'll just get you this far up so you can take one of these positions so we can still reload you. And here we go. No, he's going back and forth back there. So we, we live another day. Yeah, and that zombie is hurt. You did your job on him, Sebastian. Um, I'm thinking... I would like to take care of the zombie this way. Please, Ruth, thank you. You're a nice killing medic for me on this mission so far, because I want to get you back in concealment, Sebastian, in case that cyber disc comes around this corner. And we'll reload you. Now we know how we can push forward. Where are 
are the remaining civilians? There's only three left. Where did they all move? One, okay, one's there, one's here. I think I worry more about getting in position for the cyber disc than these civilians at the moment. Think, 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 that's the most important thing to do. Already there. And hopefully if we have ourselves in the proper position for the cyber disc. I'm gonna bring you up to this corner. Everything else takes care of itself. raised up we see him now the drone came out enough he is ready he is alive he is hopefully gonna be ours let's get over to our rocketeer and get that first order of business done and that is the shredder rocket come on tell me you got range hey I, I saw it I saw it there that's what we need from you Shred, shred, shred. Nice shot, nice job. Um, now, how do we have, do you have a shot available? You sure as heck do. You got a shot there? And uh, does your grenade do us any good? Can you heave a grenade up there? No, not far enough. So instead, we're gonna have to utilize your shooting abilities. And he is flying high, unfortunately. So, Sebastian, I gotta find a way to bring you to bear somehow. And let's see. Well, you can get sight from right here. Look at that. We're gonna get a little hollow going since he's playing hard to get up high, and it's gonna reveal you. Nice hit on the hollow. Now we got a little precision shot at a distance. 75. Let's do it. Nice. Enemies down. Well, as for as overall as good as this is going for us, <laughs> we, we lost too many civilians long ago, but at least we're hanging in there tough. Um, let's give it a shot, Nitzer. Oh, 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 oh. Damn it, missed the target. Yeah, you, you sure did. I'd call that a big miss. In fact, is that all that I got left? Is that little lone drone? Yeah, let's just run everybody up. Take care of this thing. You my killing medic. Shall I give you the final the final say in this one, Ruth? You ought to like that, right? Running dry on ammo. Damn it. Leaving a little sour taste in the mouth. How about you, Tina? <laughs> oh. We're not gonna be singing a song called Sisters on this one. And that's an inside joke for anyone listening, but oh well. All right. Good work, Commander. Poor, poor, poor. We only saved eight out of eighteen. That means we are in about. We are about. You are about to witness the loss of South Africa, unfortunately. You are about to witness the loss of a continent bonus.
troops are making it look easy out there. Let's hope they don't get too cocky. So we took some damage, but it was all armor hits. We got a couple um, final promotions for Nitzerk, Kristen Drag, and Arden Storyteller Schlug. Well, that was not the happiest story to tell. Even though we came out clean, we did not do our job and lower. Yeah, look at that. Panic, panic, we panic. Will be in touch, Commander. Look at that. We're losing South Africa unless something miraculous happens very, very soon. But it's the end of the month. So in a few more days. <laughs> oh, I'm not even going to say it. Not going to say it. Let's just get out there. Yep. Well, I know we're in danger. We are big time in danger. and I can't think of any way to save it. Alien power systems. Let's assign new research. Illyrium generator is now available for construction. Improved arc thrower. Oh, that sounds nice in the foundry to <laughs> up those odds of captures. Uh, alien nucleonics project in the foundry is available and UFO tracking project is available. So we got some uh, new foundry projects if we can get the money to deal with it. Illyrium, that's nice for if we need power. And this is uh, increased efficiency on how we extract Illyrium. UFO tracking is always nice. And the arc thrower, that's probably the biggest one right there. Uh, mobile power armor. What are we missing in this one? Five alien carbines. Ah, we need more captures. We need more commander corpses, and we need more heavy floater corpses. So, in the meantime, let's go to alien propulsion, maybe. Oh, they're all going to be slow. Look at this. They're all slow. So, we're going to work on alien propulsion. That's going to be our area of focus. Uh, pretty soon, this will be a big priority, alien operations, but I'm not ready at this point to move against them. So, let's go with this first. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Almost to the end of the month, four days till council report. Four days to lose. We don't need new recruits right, right now. Let's save, save those for something we need more. Contact detected. Map of Earth small. Um, map of Earth small. Obviously, it's well, not obviously, but it, normally the map of Earth, especially a fighter, a fighter. Um, Let's try leathers with your stingray since it's a fighter. Let's see if we can't manage to bring him down on a balanced attack. Yes, I could be wasting a fighter on something that's going to land, but as a fighter, it also could be a bombing run. Bangs out. That's a lot more than we Nope. I guess we're going to let him be because I'm not going to waste any more aircraft on him. And it was probably a bombing. Yeah, bombing in South Africa as if they weren't going to leave us enough already. Incoming transmission. Excellent work, Commander. Yep, and we lost this South Africa. I'm pleased to see our continued support of this project has been worthwhile. We hope that your current successes only mark the beginning of an enduring effort to eliminate the extraterrestrial threat. So apparently we did not lose Architects of the Future, is what it would appear, that particular bonus, but we definitely lost our biggest cash cow um, on that continent. So it's about time we start thinking about another territory such as Europe that we can take over with satellites. 
So that'll have to be a goal and something we look at making happen. Remember, we will be watching. And what I'm going to do, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to stop it right at this point. we got to remember to scan now for Exalt. Uh, fortunately, they didn't get us. Uh, in the meantime, now that the scans are back down to 50, um, there's a couple other things. I'm going to take a look at what we want to buy with our newfound funds that we have. Um, whooping 337 by the time you take out all our expenses. Um, but I think we're going to end it right here. We, usually we end it with another mission on hand, but I want to take some time figuring out what to spend what on and uh, make sure I have a plan for this next month and what we want to do. So this is Zigzag Zag signing off from Southwestern PA. I appreciate your watching this mission as disappointing and as frustrating as it was. We came out in one piece, but we lost South Africa. We didn't do our job saving civilians. Uh, so like I said, boost my morale. Hit that like button. That'll that'll do it the most. But if you haven't subscribed, that'll that'll help too. And finally, console me. Leave a comment. <laughs> help this small channel out. And we'll see y'all next time. Thanks.